क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इट सेज द मिनिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी नीडेड बाई एन एल्फा पार्टिकल टू कॉज द न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन विच इज नाइट्रोजन प्लस एल्फा पार्टिकल गिवस प्रोटोन एंड ऑक्सीजन इन अलेबरेटरी फ्रेम इज एन मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन बोर्ड एज्यूम दैट नाइट्रोजन इज एट द रेस्ट इन द लेबरेटरी फ्रेम मासेज ऑफ दीज न्यूक्लियज हैव बीन गिवन टू अर्स वी नीड टू फाइंड दिस एन वैल्यू so basically that's a nuclear reaction right so uh, we can find out the q value of this reaction and the q value of this reaction is like uh, delta m into c square where delta m includes mass of reactants minus mass of product now masses of reactants and products are known to us like nitrogen and alpha particle these are reactants and a proton and the oxygen they are product so these masses we can put there and then we'll find this delta m and then this is in terms of u atomic mass unit and then this atomic mass unit can be replaced at 930 mega electron volt per c square so c square getting cancelled out so basically this into 930 becomes mega electron in terms of mega electron volt and this after simplification came out to be minus 1.86 mega electron volt that says that this reaction is uh, endothermic reaction because in this case because in this case this came out to negative that means uh, products have more mass so some energy has to be supplied in order to uh, compensate this mass growth so that's an endothermic reaction anyway q value we have got it now for uh, this reaction to take place uh, alpha particle must be bombarded with some minimum kinetic energy so that minimum kinetic energy is given by this mod of q value into 1 plus mass of alpha particle divided by mass mass of nitrogen now this formula is coming after solving uh, equation this like this nitrogen was at raised alpha particle comes with certain momentum and strike it and then this this they may move right so there has to be linear momentum conservation and uh, there has to be mass energy conservation based on that we can find out the kinetic energy and that too we need to apply the minimum condition minimum kinetic energy condition so ultimately this formula turn out to be this one so uh, this delta q mod within bracket 1 plus mass of alpha particle divided by mass of nitrogen that means this is the nuclei which was stable uh, stationary and this is uh, alpha particle which was bombarding so now you can put the value so this is uh, 1.86 and this number is like 1 plus 4.003 divided by 16.006 mega electron volt after calculation this term came out to be 2.3 to 5 mega electron volt we need to truncate this in two decimal places so you can truncate it like 2.32 mega electron volt so that becomes a response for the second question fine thank you